And here we go. Um, I don't really know how to start out this video because there's a lot of stuff to talk about, but I am in a very glitchy area, and um, I will probably be leaving said glitchy area pretty soon, but Wait, what is this? What is this? Can I get into it? No, I don't think I can, actually. Okay, that kind of sucks, but oh well. Um, and no, I'm not... Okay, wait, there we go. Am I out of it yet? No, these are these are solid. Okay, so uh, there we go. So I've made some uh, changes here, such as this readable text. I'm sure you've seen the billion annotations. Me saying like I will fix this later. Um, so text is readable now. I have also fixed the uh, fact that the 360 sounds like a lawnmower. Um, and I did that by just, uh, we had to install the game onto the system. I wasn't aware that that was a thing that you could do, but apparently it is. And I'm just kind of driving in circles here. Um, I should actually go and make some progress. But anyway, um, the major thing I have to explain, I will actually explain after I go in here. So that would make actually more sense. So. I'm going to start the logbox level, and then I will explain the thing that happened. And loading should be faster now, I think, because it's loading it off the system and not the disk. There's still going to be loading time, obviously, but it seems to be better. They predicted the Wii U! And we have Mumbo with a soul patch. Again, don't really know what this song is a parody of. Here we have useless character number four. And possibly the most useless of all. Except for possibly Piddles. Yeah, Piddles is still worse. And we have Jolly Dodger. Not Roger, Dodger. Not dirty, just dodgy. Okay, now, um... So, first, uh, before I start to tell my story, I will do the obligatory showing off of the text here. It says, Banjo-Kazooie, Rare, 1998. The Bear and Bird's First Adventure... Will anyone remember Nuts and Bolts in a decade? Come back in 2018 and find out. People will probably remember it as being that game that really, really sucks and everybody hates. Except it doesn't really deserve that title, but we've been over this before. Anyway, thing I need to explain is uh, I have actually done all of this, kind of. Um... I learned the hard way that uh, Twitch TV actually deletes your recordings after about four days if you don't, like, save them or something. And so I had recorded stuff from this level and a bit more from Nutty Acres, and I had to... Uh, well, I didn't... Well, yeah, Twitch deleted it, basically. And I will read these discs eventually, but I'm just collecting notes for the moment. Um... Go away. Yeah. I will do that challenge in a little while, actually, because I think I know what that one is. Um, anyway, since uh, my options at that point, since I lost the footage, there was absolutely no way of getting it back. Um, my, my options were either just, like, do the missions again, even though I had already completed them, just to show them off, or play through the game from the beginning again, so I can, like, basically just show, like, doing them for the first time and collecting notes and collecting mumbo crates and all that stuff. Yeah, for graphical glitches. Um, and so I chose the second. So this is a new file. I had to actually start over from the beginning, do what I had done in the first three videos. And so I think I'm pretty much caught up. I was not 
very anal about the notes, so there are probably some notes that I did not collect this time, or I collected this time, but I didn't last time. I don't really care about that so much. I think I got all the mumbo crates. I am not positive. It's so nice being able to read this text. Although, I do kind of wish you could speed it up, like when it does that little drop down. I don't know. Yeah, see, there it, like, jumped up all at once. I don't know why it doesn't always do that. So, it wasn't really a big deal. If it was later into the LP, then obviously I wouldn't have started over from scratch, but... Oops. I did not mean to create a vehicle, actually. No, don't do this. Oh, yeah, I did not recreate Shitty Car, because I don't have any reason to. I will use... Oh, it's still there. Weird. Here is Decent Car. Huh. Weird, I didn't realize that it actually saved these. Okay, Decent Car and Two Minute Passenger thing are cars that I made in the lost footage. I'm surprised it saved those. Apparently I do not have all the parts for Decent Car yet. I'm not sure what I'm missing. I guess I'll find that out eventually. Anyway, um, for this one I'm just going to use the Wumba truck because it works decently enough, and I need something with a big carrying area. I don't know what I was saying. Obviously, I missed a mumbo crate somewhere. I don't know what, which it is, but it'll turn up eventually. So the goal for this little mission here is to just get as high as possible. There's like a little counter at the top that says how high you are, and you have to get up to 100, and obviously you want to do it as fast as possible. I actually discovered a trick for this during my last session. Hopefully I will be able to recreate it. Because once you get up here, you are close, but not quite there. So, if you can get over here, where it's a little bit higher, uh, just sort of lift the piece, and then that works. It doesn't have to stay up there. Oh, and yeah, I'm, collect I'm connected to live, apparently, so it's going to do that every time I do a mission. But whatever. I got all my stuff here, so that is good. And that reminds me, I did actually... Uh, I redid the challenges in Nutty Acres. I got trophies in some of them. Um, Coconut Circuits, that's the Trophy Thomas race. Um... If you win the first two races, you don't have to do the third one. So that's basically how I got the trophy in that one, because I just didn't have a third race to do. This one was the one with the bomb. Uh, there was just a different route you had to take. Great Balls of Fire, the one with the asteroids, I still didn't get yet. I just need a better car to do that one. So, anyway, that is Klungo's mission. And where is... Okay, I wanted to show off this thing. Um, yeah, there's like this weird mother brain with eyes, like, I don't know what it is. If you break all of these, you get an achievement for it. Which I should have. Let me see, actually. Uh, yeah, massive damage. Let's see, I also painted any part of your vehicles. I did that one off screen. Uh, I think all the rest of these... I had gotten already. Yeah, okay. I know achievements don't really count for anything, but whatever. I don't know if I'll be getting all of them or not, because a lot of them are multiplayer, so I won't be getting those. I might get all the non-multiplayer ones. We'll see if any of them are, like, absolutely horrible. So, let me show off the discs, because I do want to do that. This one is It's Mr. Pants, which was actually a GBA game, which I have never played. Um, it says, Mr. Pants, Rare 2003, our website mascot that somehow managed to get his own game. It's highly doubtful whether he'll get another. Now, I'm guessing he probably will not. Over here is Scribed by the Ghoulies, Rare 2003, lighthearted haunted house romp with ninja imps. 
and a DJ Mummy. You'll probably find a copy and good bargain bins everywhere. That is not true, because no matter where you go, you will not find that game, and nobody knows it exists. Um, Banjo-Tooie, Rare 2000, a lengthier, more complex sequel to Banjo-Kazooie that included everything in the kitchen sink. Did you like it more or less? That is major dividing point for fans. And what are you doing in my car? You get out. So over here... We have useless character number four. Clearly everything created after the original two games is useless. God, I'm becoming a Pokemon, like, typical fanboy now. Thank you for that shot. Indeed. <clears throat> I think last time I made some sort of a stupid joke about, like, the virtual console version of Mario RPG dumbing down the firewall. Okay, so, yeah, you have to have something with the passenger seat for this one. So this is where my two-minute passenger thing came from. Um, it's nothing really to write home about. I think... I, I think I just... I took, like, a basic chassis that the game provides you, and I put a passenger seat on it. That's pretty much all I did. But it seemed to work pretty well. I actually did get the trophy for it last time, so let's see if I can do it again. I realize this is probably... Not as interesting now that I know what I'm doing, but I can't really help that. And no, I don't particularly need to get that achievement again. Thank you very much, game. Run over the Darmanitans and pick up Lumba or whoever this is. Come on, game. Okay, off to a horrible start. Let's try that one again. I suppose at some point I should probably, like, make some sort of a comment about this level in general. Just the fact that it's, like, the inside of a, um, Xbox 720, apparently. I don't know. Because, you know, that's a thing that currently exists. I'm sure it will it, before the year is up, but... Uh, how do I get to Mumbo? I think there should be a ramp over here. Yeah, here it is. The problem with this car, come on now, the problem with this car is that it leans backwards a lot. I think it's too back heavy. It's got too much junk in the trunk. Um, there's some notes which I would like to collect, but now is not the time for such frivolities. So there we go. Okay. Update and delete our board. No don't really care. And I think that's about it for this act, other than Jinjo's, which... I uh, skipped the text, I didn't mean to. Let me actually, uh, switch to my decent car. It's not actually that decent. Let's see, what part is falling off? It's weird. I don't know what's... Oh, I think... Yeah, I think I'm just missing an egg gun. I put egg guns on it. But I never actually put ammo crates on it, so I'm going to have to fix it later anyway. Anyway, issue with this car, um, I actually made this one off-screen before the original Part 4. And here's a Jinjo. Issue with it is that it, like, oversteers. I'm not really sure why, but I, it will eventually have to be fixed, but I'll be finding other car parts and stuff, so... Okay, so he's missing a book. Level 4 near that thing with crayons stuck to it. Okay. I think I know where that is. Oh yeah, I'm... There's singing in this level. Um... Once again, using the Humba truck, even though it is not that good of a car. I will, um, like, 
point out the singing the next time I hear it, I guess. Oh my god, why is this so slow? Is this the normal speed for it? Maybe I'm just... I guess I got spoiled from the, like, two seconds that I was using the better cars. I don't know. I will take this time to collect some notes. Because that is everybody's favorite part of this game. Okay, now. Yeah, Berna actually pointed out that the notes sound similar to, like, the saving noise from Wind Waker. I had never realized that, but they kind of do. I don't know what floor I'm on, because I don't think it says. Gonna run over this stupid mouse, because it reminds me of the one from Canary Mary's Race. <coughs> and you die. And I think I've just gone in a circle. But hey, there's notes here, so why not? This is a cool level. Um, probably, I think, my second favorite out of the whopping five that there are, but... Okay, technically, if you count Showdown Town and Spiral Mountain, there's seven levels. Showdown Town is actually probably the best area, just because it's the biggest and has the best music, and I guess those are really the only two reasons, but shut up. Um, Spiral Mountain doesn't really count... Uh, spoilers for much later in the game, but there's not a whole lot that you do there. Okay, so let me go up here. I'm looking for something with crayons stuck in it. I know what he's talking about, I just don't know the layout of this level. Oh, hi. That was beautiful. At some point I will have to make a plane. I don't know if I actually have propellers and wings yet. I will have to check. Okay. Crayon thing is over here, but first... We have Viva Piñata Rare 2006, a delightful mix of gardening and papery critter collection. Winner of Best Game No One Played. Sequel now available. I have indeed never played that, even though we do own it. I should probably get around to playing that at some point. I would grab it quickly, but there's notes here, so I got distracted. There are so many notes in this game. I don't actually know how, what the total number of notes in the game is. You would think that you could just look at the, uh, like, totals when you pause and stuff, but that actually only lists... What the hell is that? I don't know who that is, actually. I'm assuming it's a reference to some other Rare game. I don't know which, though. Because I... For all I know, it could be grabbed by the Ghoulies, but I don't remember enough of, like, the characters in that game to say. I don't remember there being, like, a wizard, though. What was I saying? I don't even know. I'll think of it eventually. Okay, here, have your book. That was the most useless waste of, like, three minutes, but whatever. And I skipped the text, which I really need to stop doing. I'm used to, like, being able to hit A to load all of the text for some reason. I don't really know why, because I don't know what game you do that in, but apparently... Ah! I think an enemy just bumped into the, like, graphic chip. I'm just kind of having some fun here, don't mind me. Okay, no. I think that'll be it for now. Um, let's see. Yeah, there's another Jinjo somewhere, but I can't be arsed to look for it, so... I will just kind of leave. And... I think there was, like, something in the town I wanted to do. I don't remember what it was. Yeah, there's where the jiggies for that level appear. So I will actually grab those. And I remember what I wanted to do now. I will do it after I get these jiggies. Actually, yeah, let me park the car here. 
Shut up. There was this excellent screenshot that I saw of somebody who had, like, a frickin' million jiggies just laying around because I guess they had, like, held off on taking them out of the machine for as long as possible. And so they had just this gigantic pile of them, and it was really cool. I wish I could replicate that. And maybe towards the end of the game I will be able to, but I'm not sure, like, what the best time would be to do that. It's like, do you spend your jiggies to open levels, or do you hoard them? There's got to be, like, a delicate balance. Alright, and so we have opened a Grunty Battle level, which I will do, because I did it last time in the video that got deleted. A uh, new act for Logbox, which I will do, because I did that last time. And also the Third World. Oh, here's the other egg gun. That's where it came from. Okay. So maybe I wasn't missing any crates. Propellers, those are good. Because I can make a plane. Humba has some new blueprints. I get the Humba Copter and Tank. Those might be useful at some point. And Klungo. We have not actually seen Klungo yet. But he has an amazing video game for us to play, which I will also show off, because, once again, I showed that in the video that got deleted. <clears throat> but first, I would like to do something that I did not do in the video that got deleted, and that is actually get the Mumbo Crate out of the tower thing that Bottles opened. So let me head over and do that. And there are some notes. Like, shadows of notes. Where are they? Are they on top? Yeah, they're on top of the building, all the way over there. It's cool that, like, it actually renders the shadows for them properly. I'm impressed by things like that. This game came out in, like, what, 2008? Yeah, because it said, like, come back in 2018 and find out, so... Can I get over there from here? I don't know. Maybe if I drive off of the very top. Oh yeah, and people did want me to show off some of these. Um, yeah, if I could speed up the text, it would be even better, but... There are Jinjos in Showdown Town. They're really bizarre. I will show them eventually when I run into them, I guess. Come on. Yes, this I think this is the one that they wanted me to show off. I like that they at least recognize, like, gamers' complaints. The first games to feature pony riding, lovely kittens, and ninjas being blown up with rocket launchers. Uh... Hmm, the N has an accent over it. They made sure to, like, be proper with that. Don't know what that's referring to. Uh, yeah. Well, no, I know it's Viva Pinata, obviously, but... Okay, just keep saying that one, why don't you? Trapdoor Towers? Yeah, that's actually what I'm just about to do. Okay, I think that'll be it for now. There's obviously other stuff that he says, but I don't know how many possible phrases there are. Does one get over there? Maybe you do just jump from over here. Or, like, put a crate inside the car and then... No. 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 Eh, whatever. It'll survive on its own. Okay. Can we make this? It doesn't look like that far of a jump, but... I don't really trust Banjo to make it. Let's go. And... Oh, okay. What do you know? And slowly, but surely, collect all of these notes. And hopefully I will get something cool out of the Mumbo Crate. Come on now. Oh, six, six, eight, oh, nine. With no punctuation. Okay.
Okay, there we go. Oh, really? That activates the stupid police? I didn't know that. I hate the police. No? Okay. <laughs> Surprised that actually worked. But the police are really stupid in this game. They really don't need to exist. They're there to piss you off and not really provide any kind of a challenge at all. It's just seriously to piss you off and nothing else. This will eventually be seen. Alright, let's grab the uh, mumbo crate that dropped after I run into the wall for absolutely no reason. Good job there. This is number 19 for those of you keeping track, which is nobody. Come on, game. Thank you. And... Let's see what I get out of this. Not sure what I'm really hoping for. Gyroscope. I will probably never use that, but you never know. Gyroscope just lets you um, control games with waggle controls. No, not really. It lets you um, pee. That, that, that's all I'm going to say. No, do not get out of the car here. Let's go over to this thing. And that opens the best level in the game, which I will not do yet. I will save that for later. There are a lot of notes, which I would like to grab. But I guess I will get them in due time. Are there any notes in this area? Probably. Yeah, they're scattered all over these freaking houses. God, I really don't want to have another 50-minute video of me collecting notes. Like, people said they didn't mind that, but still, it's kind of awful. So let me just grab these, because they're right here. Uh, okay. Collision detection on that one was a bit off. Okay, back up. Let me actually make some progress at some point here, so... No, come on, game. Thank you. I will actually save the Grunty battle for the end of this one, I believe. I will go do another level in Logbox. And since I'm right here and thinking about it, let me actually get more Boggy's upgrades. I don't know how much of a noticeable difference they make, but they certainly can't hurt. Speed is always good. And strength is good, I guess. I don't really know what it's needed for. Can't buy that one. I'll buy stamina. Sure. Whatever. I mean, I'll get enough notes later on to, like, pay for more of those, so I'll be fine. And where am I going again? Oh yeah, log box. It's like two inches away, but I might as well use the warp. Run over a penguin, run over a rhino. How dare you, penguins are everybody's favorite. True fact, or whatever he says. Okay, and here we have two more Jiggy missions. And two Jinjos, which I will most likely not run into. I also had to point out last time that viewed from a certain angle, these green enemies look like creepers. I don't know if you can really tell. Like, because it has, like, the four legs and the tall, like, cylindrical body. When you look at it normally, it's obviously, like, a little Space Invaders crab thing. But for the side, I seriously thought it was a creeper the first time I saw it, and I was like, what the fuck? So. Yeah. And here we have... Wumba, which I'm just going to read all this text 
and then question what the hell any of it means. Okay, so she has an all-girl gaming clan, which Ben join in, even though he's not a girl. And then that, and then she does not answer. See, I don't get this. Like, clearly she's the only girl here. So, is she, like, the only one in her clan and she's racing against everyone else? I don't really know. But, anyway, you're stuck with this terrible, terrible goddamn car that Log gives you. Like, I mean, it's... It could be worse. There are far worse... Oh my god. Okay, there's the main problem with it. As soon as you touch anything, it kind of, like, sticks to it and then rotates in place. Okay, awful beginning. Let me try this again. Yeah, the, the goal here is just do not touch anything. Uh, did Klungo just go out of his way to run over that mouse? That was awesome. Oh, god. For God's sake, game, come on. Up, oh, touched a wall, end of game. Touch another wall. If I can, like, get a good start and get ahead of everybody, I might be fine. I don't know, this race goes on for far too long. And last time I did it, I, like, actually, I, like, did the whole race and then lost at the very end of it and then had to show it all again. So, if you think what I'm doing right now is tedious... It could be worse. I just, I want to get a good start so that I don't have to go through the entire race twice. I hate this car. And it, it, it always feels like it's going to tip over. I don't know if it ever actually, like, if there's any threat of it doing that, but I always worry that it will. Don't touch the spark plug. Okay. No, Mumbo, go away. Unless... No, it would be nice if Mumbo touched my car and then he started spinning in place, but I know it wouldn't work that way. And there really is nothing to say about this race. It's just really boring and not very fast. As soon as you get ahead of everybody like this, I think then you're pretty much good. You just have to be careful to not bump into stuff, obviously. Oh, wait. I don't know what I did there, but the game didn't like it, whatever it was. Oh, for God's sake. Uh, now I'm probably not going to make it. Well, I don't know. I might. If I don't get the trophy, I'm not going to I can always get that off screen. I just really would like to win this race. Oh my god. Why? Why does it do this? They're like interlocking or something. It... Ugh. And then the music farted for no reason. <laughs> just get angry about the music farting. Okay. Keep calm. Oh my god. I wish I had, like, a bazooka so I could just shoot them. And then I wouldn't have to worry about bumping into them. But I left my bazooka at home. Sheesh, guys, give me a break here. And then everybody laughed. I don't know. Okay. So, enjoying watching this race for the 20th time? I'm trying to think if there was anything else I wanted to, like, talk about with my, like, previous recording that failed. There was one really funny part in it, which I am sad that it is now lost. I will say what it is when I get to the part that it is referring to. 
other than that, I think it was just kind of your typical stuff. Oh yeah, I did have to make some sort of comment about this race, though, because there was this part of it where, like, Klungo kind of, like, went invisible as he was passing through me. I don't know if it was, like, the camera screwing up or something, but it was really weird, and so then I made some comment about, like, is that, is that Klungo's special power? And then I kind of theorized what everybody else's special powers were. And I had determined that Pikelet's power is that he's a useless character, and Mumbo's is that he just has a smaller car than everyone else, and that's it. Okay, yeah, I, I don't get Humba's character in this. Like, I don't know what she's really supposed to be referring to. I guess it's like... I don't, like... It might be making fun of, like, the... apparent, like, fake gamer girl thing, which I don't know if that's even a thing or not, but people think it is. Where it's like girls pretend to like games just to seem popular, but they don't actually like them. Which was the case with Ultra Neko, but I don't know, whatever. And here's Bottles and his flavored mission. Giga Flaps. Sure. So in this mission, I will get to show it eventually. So I don't get why these little cutscenes here let you have more than two lines of text, but nowhere else does. I don't know. Okay, so this one you have to use the vehicle that it wants you to, which is a helicopter. And I decidedly hate the helicopters in this game. Um, just because they're kind of just really freaking awful to control. Um, like, there are situations where they're helpful, or, like, even mandatory sometimes, but they just do not control particularly well. I don't know. It's, it's really hard to even explain how to control it. Like... Right trigger goes up, left trigger goes down, and then to steer, you obviously just use the stick, but there's, like, no real way to explain how you're supposed to do what you're trying to do. I don't know. It just, it never feels right. But, luckily, this mission is not that bad. I did actually get the trophy in it last time, and... I have gotten it this time as well, so that is good. And characters are making strange noises in the background. Oh yeah, I never finished my thought earlier about, um, like, you can check the pause screen for the totals of the notes, but that doesn't include the notes that you get from Jiggy Challenges, or just from random things like Klungo's video game and saving Jinjo's and all that assorted malarkey. So, I'm just gonna kinda drive around for a while here. I saw some notes over there, but I don't feel like getting them right now. If I happen to see a Jinjo, then I will do its challenge, but I don't know where any are. One thing that I cannot believe I did not die there. That was amazing. Um, like, most of the levels in this game, um, like that part that you just heard was clearly Grunty's Lair. Most of the levels in here have, like, technically an original song that just has, like, part of it kind of break into a remix of a song from an earlier game. Like, I complained about that in the first episode where Showdown Town was the only real original song. That isn't true. Because, like, only one part of this is Grunty's Lair. And then, I think here's the part with the singing. Okay. 
Welcome to my world. Pause for nine days. Stupid bear and bird. Pause for nine more days. Lots to do and see. And then we fall and die. Stop and swap on 360. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, leaving. Oh, wait, Jinjo. Nobody expects Jinjo. And what is your thing today? Jolly good. Um. Uh, oh, it's more sumo. Oh, boy. Well, let's use the uh, tank and see how that one does. I assume this one's still not that difficult, but I guess we'll find out. And where is the Jinjo? Oh. Hey, guess what? I think I won. Up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, wait, wait. No, I lost. Hooray. Okay, let's do it again. Yeah, I don't really like the Jinjo's designs in this game either. Like, someone else complained about them. I... Especially the, like, when they turn into balls, they look really stupid, but... I don't know. Jinjos were always really stupid anyway. Because they kind of just stand there and make no effort to... leave the level that they're allegedly imprisoned in. And I didn't really do anything there. He kind of just fell out and lost. I thought that was the Jinjo. He's like... <laughs> okay. That'll be it for now. It is time to go do the Grunty Battle. As Log is helpfully telling me. Oh, weird. The bridge, like, fell down there. I guess the level has to, like, remember what things you've changed in it, and then it makes them happen every time you re-enter it. I don't know. Kind of weird. Not gonna grab the Jiggies yet, because I don't need them at the moment. Let me just go straight into here. And we will see how this goes. Sorry if people, like... Oh, once again, something relevant. Yeah, I will be getting that vehicle part at some point. I don't know if you buy it or find it from a crate. I don't remember. What was I going to say? I don't remember what I was going to say. I hope it was nothing important. I have a feeling it was, though. Okay, so... Yawning! Uh, over in this section of the level... We have the Loco Coco. Much famous Loco Coco tree. It make biggest, best, and hardest coconut in world, but only get one a year. Mumbo like tree better than wife Humba. I have never paid attention to this tree before, but it is now the center of focus in this mission here. And I did remember what I was going to say now, and it was... Um, if people want to actually see me build cars, I will be doing that in later episodes. I showed it last time, but now that they're already pre-built, I can't really show it again. So, yeah. So, Grunty wants a giant coconut for reasons unknown. Oh, yawning! And there it is. It's super exciting. And it looks like it's going to be, like, so giant and awesome, and then it drops into the car, and it's really not that great. It's like, yeah, it's way smaller than you'd think it would be. But yeah, I don't really get the point of this, why she thinks it's going to help, but... Grunty has kind of just been reduced to a joke in this game. So let me use my decent car and see if I can recreate the epic battle from last time. Yup. Oh god, I wish you could have seen the original of that. 
I spent like five minutes designing this car. Well, no, actually I didn't. Never scratch that. I didn't spend very long designing the car at all. I actually just um, stuck the full gore's fist on the front of the decent car, which I had created previously. And I'm like, well, I got the egg cannons. I've got the the fist thing. We'll see how this goes. And I start it, run into Grunty, immediately win. And I'm just like... The fuck? Like, just, like, minute of silence there. I don't know. It was kind of great, but... I can't do it again, obviously. So... By winning the battle, um... I have now gotten the high traction wheels. And I'm going to actually do this again to show the fact that, like... If you don't immediately ram into her, it is almost somewhat kind of not really hard. You still just kind of do this, and then... I don't really know what your goal is. I think you're just supposed to, like, damage the car a certain amount. And if I actually had my, like, ammo crates so I, so I could use the uh, egg gun, that would be nice, but I never put them on the car, so... Come on. Turn. Is it doing anything? I don't understand what this fist is supposed to actually do. Like, unless it's just a battering ram and it doesn't actually do anything, but I thought it was supposed to, like, punch stuff when it gets close. I don't know. Wait, is that... What is this? What is this? What the hell? It just, the game gives you another one? What the crap? I did not know that. That is kind of strange. I wonder if there's other ones scattered in the level. Grunty, what are you planning on doing with that thing? I like how the game really doesn't give you much of an opportunity to get the notes. It's like, well, you have this long to get the jiggy. If you fail after, if you can't get that, well, I'm going to give you about 20 seconds to get the notes, and then you just kind of lose. I don't know, kind of weird. Come on, just break the car. I want to, like... Puke. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I already beat it. There's no reason to do it again. Yeah, whatever. This is stupid. So let's just see the aftermath of beating that. And then I think that will be it for this one. This has actually probably been longer than the original. So much yawning! Alright, so you now have Talon Trot, basically. It is nice to have, because you can now get around quite a bit easier without doing hovering and stacking stuff and taking the long way around places, so... I suppose that will be all for now. Let me actually, now that I'm thinking about it, do one last thing before this is over. If I can remember how. <laughs> Great noises. Okay, banjo. Come on. Don't know if I'm doing this correctly or not, actually. See, come on. Just a bit more. Oh! Oh! Come on, go through the wall. Go through the wall. There we go. Okay. We have come full circle with this video. Huzzah. Okay. So next time I will show off Klungo's game and probably not go into the next level yet. I will save that for later, unless there are just no more acts for me to do in the other levels. So yeah, see you for that.